guys welcome to india today um i was chatting up with vikram a while back and i was telling mm. him that you know i binged watch all these shows and i stopped looking at my phone in the middle of it because i was literally transported to this era it's very rare that you get to uh, not only watch a show that transports you to different parts but invest in characters and there are so many characters what a cast uh, um, and what different tracks and everybody sort of riveted and keeping you at the edge of the seat I want to speak to you a bit about, uh, and I want to start with you, Prasenjit uh, Jiddar. Um, if you had to meet the mogul of uh, movie cinema, Himanshu Rai, personally, if if that was ever a possibility, what's the one question you would ask him? Hmm. Uh, I should ask. <laughs> why did you? I mean, why this uh, Sumitra Devi? Hmm. Uh, I mean, why can't Sumitra Devi be like Anarkali? Wow. Wow. And I think Why the can't Sumitra Kumari be like? Anarkali. Anarkali. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting answer because I, you know, I want to move into that space with you, Aditi. I, I, I just heard Ram, uh, you know, a while back speak about how stunning you looked in Taj. And that's a sentiment that has been echoing over the last few months and years, if not days, of the fact that how you sort of carved your own niche uh, in these period stories. uh playing these characters who are not bound by ages and years and decades they're just they're just characters they're women and they come from different sets of life they have their own challenges are you enjoying this space because there's a lot you can do in this you're not then bound by a certain box um 100% i love it but i love it or not because it's another era or another time or whatever i love it because of the director's vision honestly so whether i'm placed in 2023 or 1947 or whatever i'm as excited but it really has to do with the world that is created by the director and i think that's what really really makes me excited it's really about emotions whether it's in another language or it's another time it's about those emotions reaching out to people and for people to feel what it is that you're feeling i think there's nothing more important than that having said that 100% when you go into another world even as an actor for us also there's a mystery because you don't know that world you've not lived that time um and there's a kind of magical quality about it and there's a kind of uh, excitement about going into you know that that space mm, and very honestly you can only do that with a really brilliant team because they have to make it believable for you and once it's believable for you that's the only way you can make it believable and honest for people who are watching it so i do feel lucky that i get these opportunities and i'm picked for them i i don't know why uh, i'm i i'm very blessed for it uh, but yeah i like to mix it up very honestly i also like to be of now this generation and i do that um Yeah, but I'm lucky. I get to straddle both worlds, and that's a yeah. lot of fun for me. Yeah, and a big challenge. And also because the gentleman sitting on your left has literally dabbled and tick marked and check boxed every genre, really, every actually. possible character, yes. every possible. He's broken the barriers of whether it's a small screen, whether it's a streaming platform, whether it's a film. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think when we get mm. to see him. It's just a joy to watch you because you just take to your, to whatever character. Even Thank in you. person. <laughs> yes, I agree. Even in person. So when you got that call or when that conversation happened, and you know you signed on the dotted line, you saw Vikram's vision, all of that. What was your excitement to be a part of Jubilee? For me, it was very different from all of the all of them because uh, I was part of Vikram's start in Udan. Correct. Ten years back. Yes. So when Vikram called me. it was not the conversation that he had with all these others i was in singapore and he called he said hey can you talk i said ha huh? so uh, my next thing is ready and you're in it okay and that was it oh no questions asked please ask vikram so he didn't feel it necessary to tell me the details <laughs> and i didn't feel it necessary to ask, ask the details so it was a very different thing because see it's vik i started with vik vik started with me in udan so he also knew that ram's not going to ask questions listen you're one of my principal cast I think I'm going to need you from April onwards. Okay, so just letting you know. Ah, okay. I didn't even ask the character name. Wow. So it was a very different thing because um, a, a guy. I've been lucky to have a long career. Uh, I'm very lucky because I know how hard it is. He'll also tell you the, to to get a break is very hard, but to carve out a long oh, career yeah, is very, very, very hard. 
anybody who can do it i have tremendous respect for but what happens with all that time is you get to know um how important it is uh, uh, to work with the right people hmm. so there was a time where i would take on projects uh, which i knew were going to help my career or help my money increase now i'm lucky enough to choose what i want to do and what i don't and now it's all about working with the kind of people i want to work with that's what matters if i have to stay home for 6 months no problem but now i only want to do the kind of stuff that that you know because otherwise i'd rather retire yes so when somebody like vic calls i trust him completely so the minute he says listen you're in it ha ah, theek done after that i found out it's for amazon after that i found out it's on uh, 40s 50s uh, this thing and what my character is and all this even if it was a two scene part i would have still done it mm. because it's big wow uh, and you know what he also mentioned that that luxury of having to work with the people you want to comes at uh, with a price with a lot of hard work at at perhaps a later stage sometimes people get lucky it comes early on for them with you the fact that you've just been so consistent at what you've been doing you know it's not just honing your craft but everything that you do you just ace that i want to ask you if you had to go back in time and maybe give a piece of advice to your younger self what would it be because anybody watching this and hearing this from you perhaps could pick that up oh uh, well uh, i mean yeah uh, i i think what what should i say i mean it's a long journey as ram was also telling that we have been working for a long long time so yeah i will say i think the uh, the kind of belief and uh, the kind of uh, focus and i i me as a person what i also always felt that whenever the success came uh, in my in my career i never i really wanted not to wear it but when i got a flop when i got a failure i always kept it with me like for a long long time because uh, from there again i started i wanted to give a hit so i think the failure is something i think uh, which i i completely i i try to do a kind of a monitoring on that i have been like why did i fail for this i worked so hard so i think for any actor initially you don't need to you know we sometimes what what happens you know once you get a success then we we try to wear it right and uh, we try to be with it success is one thing which is like it will come yeah. but once you fail and then if you try to remain with that and if you try to do a kind of a uh, you know homework on that right. why did this fail so i think that is something which had kept me moving and i believe that with the new general with the new directors with the, you know new talents you need to work and uh, it's not that yeah, 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 yeah i have worked with these people now yeah. i'm okay no i don't believe in this so i I try to work with all new age directors. Yeah, that's the juice of secret yes, we've been let in yes. on. Uh, Aditi also a very interesting point that he made is the fact that uh, success is often celebrated, but failure also has a lot of successful lessons uh, hidden yeah. behind that. Um, in an industry where every Friday people write things off, and now given social media and how prevalent it is, uh, shows and how much um, what one thinks of those actors in that show is also yeah. discussed. Yeah. how have you managed to sort of uh, find anchor and find grounding in this turbulent times of uh, social media invasion and what people talk about you uh, the thin line between personal and professional blurring how is how have you navigated this see i have grown up with it in terms of like it's been a part of my journey as an actor you know uh, from the time that i actually started working in films to uh, 2010 11 it, it's the time when social media started you know like really becoming big so it's been so much a part of our lives uh, so we've kind of grown with it and i think every, each one of us has our own distinct relationship with this whole thing but i think it is something like especially when you do a show like this you realize how it is it must have been then and how it is now and i feel like we have a lot of like it's very exciting of course being mm. from now and the agency we have as girls to work and how we work and you know etc etc but i feel like somewhere at, at in that golden era as we call it um that magical quality was very much alive and i think that is so uh, beautiful and maybe i'm talking as somebody you know from now who's looking at it as something i don't know and thinking about it but uh, like for me i don't know i i i think that you know the only thing 
as artists that we have control over is our intention right uh, why do we do something why do we work uh, why do we work you know what choices we make that is the only power that we have is our intention and the power of our choices and whether you're new or experienced or learning or whatever it is i feel like in my simple way i'm going to tell you is that when you work with good people like a good director and a good team you usually make a beautiful world and you usually make a beautiful uh, you know film and you're making that film because you want to tell that story and you want to reach out to people now whether that film does well on a friday or you know or, or in on your ott platforms or whatever we actually don't have control over that that is really in the hands of the receivers but our intention is very i think honest in doing it and i always feel again maybe naively put but i feel like when you have a good product and when you have something that's made with that beautiful intention it will last beyond your years and it will be timeless you know um and we've seen that with yes. so many 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 movies and whatever so i always uh, you know I, that's something that really makes me feel always positive and you know like looking ahead and always having that like have that the thing that you're so lucky to be in this magical world and you right. know to just believe and to keep working and to choose the right people hmm. and those right people will also choose you then you know absolutely yeah. i do, i think i think those were words of wisdom and pretty deep <laughs> so <laughs> and, and it's nice because it's an honest take of how you literally feel about this process yeah. and it's lucky to be an actor and it's lucky to sort of yeah, get so really, much work in yeah, it's, yeah. it's beautiful i want to ask a fun question to ram and prasenjit da uh, if you had to sit in a magical spaceship and get a chance to audition for a film mm. uh, say from the 50s or 60s or 70s i'm not going to come to a very current decade mm. uh, which film would it be and what, where do you see yourself land up for characters of, of like in an ideal world yeah michael corleone godfather oh No, Vito Corleone, Godfather. Marlon Brando's role, Godfather. Okay. That's the ultimate. The ultimate. Okay. If in an ideal world where dreams come true, I would want to audition for that role and do it. Doesn't mean I can, <laughs> uh, because I'm not Marlon Brando. But you asked a magical question. But why yeah. not? <laughs> you got a magical answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, no. This uh, Marlon Brando thing. It like when I was doing this particular Shrikant Roy. I think my directors. First word was sir, I want you to be Godfather. <laughs> like, uh, so that was my uh, brief. I've given it. That was my brief. That's it. That's one liner. Anyways, but uh, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, there's a film called Bengali film, race film, George Agar, where Chobi Vishal played that Zamindar. I will never be able to, like he said, will never be able to do that performance. But I'm surely. i would love to go and you know give that audition that's one of those wow perhaps people are going to start perhaps people are going to go revisit that film that iconic Joel film Chagot, now watch it yeah, thanks to you because yeah, yeah. if you're the saying race, that people are going to google it yeah. <laughs> and find out it's a, it oh, must be a legendary film yeah. um i have to ask you a question about it does take to a time of innocence a time that is so long lost now when you watch this and you're sort of following the journey of these characters if there's a if there's one trend or say one uh, thing about the industry at this point in time that you would want to be done away with what's the one thing that promotions you would <laughs> you're saying the sitting promoting jubilee <laughs> because i wish that our, our our movies and our work could be you know that you know nothing and you come in to see that world for the first time and that we don't have to talk about it mm. in an ideal world but this is not that. yeah because, yeah i agree uh, i agree with her fully agree with her but i mean it's part and parcel of the industry you can't help it yeah prasenjit you have a but different but i think the audiences are very smart i don't know if they want promotions <laughs> no honestly speaking today like today's date promotions become like you need to give this time for the hmm. promotions and i don't know i don't know it's a, it's debatable yeah it is debatable yeah it's debatable because, because i feel if your product is good nothing is needed nothing it'll is shine needed. but if your product is bad aap do mahina kuch bhi kar lo kuch hona nahi happened no that what i was trying smart. to say that you know there was a time i i still remember there was a 
uh, there was a Fiki or CII meeting uh, where a very senior person uh, from Bombay industry, he said that the kind of a promotional budget you have right now, we used to finish a firm in. Yeah. Mm. You know? Wow. So, but the firm used to run. So, yeah. like, if I talk about myself again, Ram will say, don't say all this. <laughs> <laughs> we used to hardly get, uh, you know, the budget of getting, given a half, not even half, quarter page publicity on the Friday, that's it. Dadaji. <laughs> bus, bus, speak, <laughs> na. Dadaji, ha. Are, yaar. So, now, I'm saying, today's day, we need She's to change so ourselves. Because the entire thing has <laughs> changed. But, what Ram is saying, right, if your product is good, it might take a week's time. Uh, things exactly. will work and if your product is not good ultimately whatever kind of a promotion you do it's up to yeah. the audience to say good or bad yeah Absolutely. and it's so much nicer if people uh, people say nice things about our movie yeah, yeah. and us I think the rather than line, we saying it yeah see yes, the point yes. she's making there's nothing wrong with promotions hmm. but for an actor or even a director to sit and talk about their work is a very is a very unnatural thing. Hmm. Uh, we have a process, we do our process, we work, and we do the finished product. Now it's out there. Dekhna, dekho, nahi dekhna, mat dekho. But for us to talk about it, humne ye kya soch ke aise kiya, ye kya soch, is a very unnatural process. Hmm. So that is why most actors uh, will agree with her that if given a choice, they would rather not do it hmm. because doing the work is different, right? And then getting appreciation is great. But talking about it is actually a very unnatural thing. Because ultimately you're talking about yourself and something yeah. that's so close to you and you wish that... Maybe oh, what? Oh. Maybe discussing it post-release or post... Yes! That, yeah. that's, that's, that's yeah. a better Because platform. then now also... You're sitting, you have watched it already. Yeah. Right. right, you can question it. And yes. even people... You are ready to answer it because you have seen it. Yeah, even people, like after they watch it, I'm sure they'll want, you know, they'll want to ask questions. And, and then you can actually have a dialogue and that'll be so much yeah. more yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. You never know, that could be, you're just putting it out there, the new next trend in right. promotions yeah. could be posted. She only looks very young, huh? she's very wise. She's just a <laughs> Listen, also between the three of you, uh, you know, I said this, every box checked, every every possible genre done. Uh, it, there's also a different side to it, is that what's the most bizarre thing that you've been offered which you've said no to, no to? You know, this is a very quirky, <laughs> Ram might have a lot. The most bizarre thing that I was ever offered, unfortunately, I did not say no to. I did it. Which is? Ham Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You have to understand, it was three of us playing triple roles yes. and romancing ourselves. <laughs> so I have worn a sarong and danced with myself. <laughs> there is the female me and the male me. Oh, no. And Saif has done the same thing and Ritesh has done the same thing. <laughs> I'm not saying. Uh -huh. So that answers your question. <laughs> On paper it might have sounded different. No, no, no. I'm see, uh, it, it was nothing to do with paper. See, Sajid is an old friend. Hmm. Farah is an old friend. Sajid and me know each other 25 years back. Literally. So, whenever Sajid called and said, listen, I need for you to do something hearty. Hmm. Uh, I can't say no to friends. So, if Farah, Sajid, anybody was to ask me to do it, even now, if he says, you're doing my next, friendship is friendship, yeah. it's got nothing to do with the career. You said it, so it's done. Right. Simple. Prasenjitda, anything bizarre that you were told to do and you were like, are you serious? <laughs> no. You're in look the at the that was like 350 number. films. How no, is no, no, he going to no, no, remember? Look at, look at, look at his personality. No, 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 he always, think about he can't, he can't get anything no, 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 too outrageous no, 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 no. because he's very, no, not like me. He's he's that I've done everything. Like <laughs> lot of kind of characters. Romance just said. Yeah. I was trying to think that before I wore the sarong and romance like, myself, I waxed my entire body. Not really. Ram's your stories are not ending, but he's found one. Sorry. No, 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 no. I am not finding out something. Will really? mm. okay. okay. things coming out? We'll jog you to that yeah, later. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe you like you, me, like a part of a narration or something sent to you. And you know, honestly, I'm sure there have been many, but I've heard many strange things. But I don't know. Hmm. The strange thing is different. Like Ram said, it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, and he did it. Yeah, I so, have waxed my entire body, uh -huh. worn a sarong. Yeah, and, this I'll, I and, can never And a wig this. and a wig and danced with no, no, but so, myself. So challenging. You see, <laughs> this is again a challenge. Uh, 
ंगलिम hunger for films and hunger for cinema and you could do the character could do anything and everything to get that role to get that part um what a fantastic uh, series and i was telling vikram and uh, he was so stoked about it as well congratulations thank you, uh, thank you. can't thank wait you. to watch season 2 uh, are agar aayega to bhai hello easy turbo <laughs> <laughs> let's put that out there i mean i'm guessing uh, depends on how season 1 is received yes so we'll connect on that post uh, the show coming out congratulations thank, thank you, you so much thank you thank you so much thank you guys